Get your engines ready. Say no. Nah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I nah. I've been ready already. <laughs> What's up, engines? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Young, Lil Ebony, Da. And I'm Curtis. You know the vibes. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all seen the picture. Y'all know why y'all here. Yeah, the future is perfect. So is our redeemers. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay on the channel if you're a real one. Also, jump on the Patreon for other decent and hyphen shit. Like, comment, and share. Go watch the old videos. You yeah, know the vibes, man. We hype as shit. The sun probably about to come up and hit us in the face. We don't care. Let me pass the mic. That say nah. <laughs> Jump right. Into He's crazy. <laughs> he scares me, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Talk that shit, bro. Money got niggas looking good. They got niggas looking good out here. <laughs> yeah, they, they walking in that private jet life. <laughs> oh, nice. Future perfect. Pass the mic and hyphens close. Oh, I like this. Song. I like this. Song. I think this is a um, this is a cool joint. Nice little comeback. Bit. Uh, yeah, because uh, like I'm not gonna cap. It's like I've it's, it's definitely kind of. I hate doing that. Like early on, like it's not a top five joint for me. It didn't jump out to me immediately. It was some parts that uh, hit me later on, or once the song kind of started and everything like that. But the uh, the beat is definitely one of the highlights of this song. I love how aggressive the drum pattern is on exactly. here. Exactly, it should have just right like it, <laughs> especially right before it get back into it, it goes uh, Two, mm -hmm. one, two, three. Go. I I love the uh, that count in uh, when it comes to drums and every or drum um, progressions and everything like that in mm -hmm. rap songs. Uh, I thought it was dope, man. Like I said, I love the outdoor set. I love that they actually out doing things. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of cool that they got called into the, uh, into. Um, damn, I lost my train of thought. You said kind of cool that they got called into something. 
What the fuck was I about to say? Go ahead. I'll, I'll think of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, what I'll say, too, is like, I, well, first off, I love in hyphen. Um, we literally just was talking about top five debuts. I think they're up there for me with debuts. Um, just the energy and how talented all the members are. Um, and I love me some Nikki. Um, but what I love kind of the most about this video is kind of just the energy. Yeah. Um, maybe the synergy. <laughs> um, they got a certain like vibe and aesthetic and I feel like they kind of popping their shit on this and I kind of love that for them. Um, and also there's, they're so like elite, um, especially for like, like those, those newer gen where it's just like, they do everything at an elite level. And I'm, I love seeing that already from a group that's still, um, what Redeemers is this is a uh, like they third year, mm -hmm. I think being active. So, uh, look at him just eating. Um, nah, he smoked that too. It, this was dope, man. I also love with and hyphen. You can always feel a, a budget yeah. <laughs> behind their videos. It's, a lot of all their videos kind of give me movie vibes, or like it's definitely a, a big production going mm -hmm. on. It's not just a, a music video. It, it feels like there's something else going on with this video. Um, I like that they the like I said. I like the outdoor sets that they actually interact and have other people outside with them and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, it was really mostly background dancers, but mm -hmm. nevertheless, like I said, a lot of these sets just look amazing. Corey will go fucking hard, too. Yeah, man. It just, it just perfectly fits this beat. Someone let me know what they stylist is, because after Blood's Cursed and Nail This, some of they fits, they killing that, like, uh, late 90s, early swaggy, 2000 yeah. swaggy, kind of like the baggy jackets and, like, the that, that aesthetic. They've been eating that fucking aesthetic up for the past couple videos. Um, but how you feel, Kurt? I thought this was really solid, honestly. Like, um, clean. I definitely love all the the sort of tie-ins that we kind of got to a little bit of the vampire lore. I would say, um, mm -hmm. definitely this song can be, you know, surely taken as its own thing, you know, separated from that. But there was like, you know, some things within the video for sure that definitely, um, you know, felt it felt like they were tying into that or at least calling uh, attention to it. Um, I will say it does kind of feel a little bit like they're cl mm. not closing the so chapter on uh, the vampire thing necessarily, but they this is definitely a turning point in that, I will say, mm -hmm. um, in the sense that uh, definitely, like, you know, the figure that they have in the chair that's catching on fire, that was something that was done in a previous video. Correct me if I'm wrong, I forget exactly what, you know, which uh, video it was, um, per se, but that whole, uh, the let me in sort of vibe with the vampire aspect of like, you know, they have to be invited in and if they're not invited in, there's like a fire, mm -hmm. uh, something. So I feel like there's something that they're calling attention to with that. Mm -hmm. Um, but then even, uh, when they're in the, the warehouse, they're standing outside with the looming figures, uh, outside the windows. So I thought that was done really well too, as far as like the waiting to be invited in, but then in so doing, you kind of charge and like break that mold, keeping with the, the whole breaking the rules aspect that they're uh, calling attention to. And even in the, the first verse, I believe it was, uh, they said, um, given and tamed instead of, uh, which felt like a reference to given and taken. Mm -hmm. uh, but instead of the thing being taken from you, it's now under control. Yeah. And if that was their debut, hypothetically, and this is their newest comeback, I just felt that was a full circle kind of moment to call yeah, attention to that, if that was the intention. However, I, you know, I can't say for sure. Um, but I love the whole aspect that they used the line thing. Yeah. Of, uh, you know, kind of staying in line is sort of like following an order. And they're saying we're rule breakers. Uh, but they use the, the wordplay of the line of saying, like, instead of instead of walk the line, they're saying we can draw our own future, which was kind of creative wordplay on choosing your own path. But uh, the the drawing aspect and the line um, aspect of it. Uh, so I thought that, that wordplay was really creative as well. Um, I definitely love all the swag in the video for sure. The whole, you know, pass the mic off to the, the next person and the way they kind of integrated the choreography within that it definitely had a nice, like, upbeat kind of breakdance sort of style to it. At least it felt like that to me. Um, definitely all the budget that's in their videos. One of my favorite shots for sure is kind of the wolf howling at the moon sort of look. Um, you know, when the, the members standing up looking at the moon. Uh, it should still I, be a just, nod. There, there's the just a great thing. color grade to it for mm -hmm. sure. Um, and, and just the artistry behind that. So definitely, you know, I'm always fascinated to see their videos because they're really creative. Uh, musically, definitely want to say that rap line really stood out. Uh, I thought that rap line, the way they came in, um, and that beat is ridiculous too. Um, I love I love the patterns, as you guys had said, the drum patterns. And then when they drown it out a little bit towards the bridge, um, I thought all that was done really well. Now, the aspects of the whole, you know, we're this separate thing, we used to walk the same path, but then eventually you and I will become us. And then that's kind of where they bring it together in the bridge with that sort of... I don't want to say it's a time lapse, but it feels like an alternate timeline or like the change 
in that situation is what happened, uh, alluding to the, the rule-breaking aspect of it. Um, I don't know what that time-changing uh, aspect sort of means in this situation, but it was funny um, how they used the aspect of, like, put your hands up, and there was, like, the hands of time <laughs> that were kind of changing, so if nothing else, I just found that ironic and poetic. Uh, but as the, you know, the song is its own merit, I, I found it really creative, and I feel like it's something that, you know, on a first listen, I do enjoy, but I feel like it's something that's going to grow on me a lot more uh, in future listens as well. Very solid comeback overall, though, and excited to see where and hyphen goes, you know, going forward from here. Yeah, and I appreciate them because uh, I guess I'll call this an experimental track for them, mm-hmm. um, especially off of certain sounds that we're uh, like predicated to hearing from them. Um, shit, they, they arguably got a top five K song ever to me. <laughs> um, but outside of that, um, I love... I love the fact that you kind of don't know what you're going to get sometimes when you turn on an in hyphen song. Yeah. Um, I love artists who aren't afraid to be experimental and who aren't afraid to test like different sounds or do different things. Um, it's nothing worse than like all eight of your last comeback sounding like the same fucking song kind of just back to back. Um, and if we're going to praise people for doing that, then we should at least kind of give people some kudos for trying to be expand on like the music uh especially with these these are young men yeah um who probably are still looking for their sound in general um so it's you know outside of that i really just kind of appreciate it and i'll go on record to say i don't think they have a bad comeback um at least from everything we've we've listened to like we said we said give and take and uh drunk days um yeah um uh fever obviously um um i feel like we're missing a couple i think let me in uh, it's fucking gods here and a, and a couple other joints. So it's you know to me personally, I don't really have many misses. Um, I know this is for the new EP that's dropping for them, uh, Manifesto. Nice. Um, so I'm kind of really anxious to, to kind of hear what this EP is going to be about. Interesting enough, if it's called Manifesto, that is sort of a call to action, uh, so to speak. So if they're going with the aspect of rule breaking and changing directions and everything like that, and how they were mm-hmm. branded a certain way and wanted to kind of you know go a different direction. I definitely feel like that's a really interesting concept for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, Funny enough too, uh, this is one of the tracks that has the you know how they will start their tracks with two words, and those words will be usually opposite to each other? But I love that, the duality of the just opposed, yeah, like, love, blessed or cursed, or they, just you know, given or taken. Like, yeah, and we had heard, it. we had heard. Um, granted, you know, you guys would have to tell us for sure, but that, that was a metaphor for their uh, idol journey of mm-hmm. coming up, you know, whether it was, like, the fame or, you know, their debut and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so was I would it have to given to us, or did we take it? Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you know I, I definitely think there's so much beautiful poetry within that, but the fact that this is... idol blessing or cursed. The fact that this is future perfect they're not Both exactly them. words that are inherently opposite of each other Both. so i think because they're not inherently opposite that's a really interesting direction for them if this is continuing the reference of their their idle journey perhaps mm-hmm. um in that same vein in the sense that you know we're in a place where we dictate what we want to do now or where we feel that we can go um nonetheless i just find it really really amazing and it definitely feels like it's um tying a beautiful bow on that story if they choose to go in an entirely new direction but um nonetheless i'm just i'm just excited just excited to see what they got going forward you know i'm here for it man i'm definitely uh want to hear more um so what i will say is because uh someone said we kind of ran through their discography kind of fast too because they still relatively new um jump in the comments man if we missed any b-sides or anything from them i definitely want to hear more um there are people and hyphen is a group who need to be on this channel consistently uh we we pay groups that uh <laughs> we pay it forward to groups that are uh like busting their ass and like really killing shit so um I, I appreciate that um but like i said this is your first time on the channel definitely hit the subscribe button um and make sure you guys jump on the patreon it's um exclusive stuff on there from them i believe it's still some dance practice um some choreo battles up there with them on there some dance practices like I said, we love Fever and a couple other drones, so we do have other live performances from them on there. Uh, jump on there. It's a dope community. Other than that, love you guys. Def Engine's going to holler at y'all. Peace. Care.